So now let's discuss question number 50. Typical growth curve in plants is the typical growth curve in most of the organism that is sigmoid. So what happens in the sigmoid curve? On one scale we are taking time and on the another scale we are taking growth. Initially the growth is slow. You call this phase as lag phase. Then there is exponential increase in the growth. This is log phase. So you know that the resources present in the environment, they are limited. Due to the limited resources, the growth that slows down. Due to the limited resources, growth slows down and then ultimately the growth, it becomes stabilized. Yes, so this is the last phase where the growth is getting stabilized. This is known as a stationary phase. So the growth curve which is obtained here, that is known as sigmoid one. So coming to the question number 51, which one gives the most valid and recent explanation for stomatal movement? So you know that the most accepted theory for the stomatal opening that is active potassium ion pump theory. So we will look for the option which contain this. Yes, this is the third one, potassium influx and efflux. This will help in the stomatal opening and closing. So the right option is option number 3 here. So let's move on to question number 52. Question number 52, cytochromes are found in. So you know cytochromes, they are iron containing protein, copper can also be present. Now, first option, lysosomes. Now, lysosomes, they contain hydrolytic enzymes. Matrix of mitochondria, it has enzymes for Krebs cycle. Then, outer wall of mitochondria, you know that the outer wall of mitochondria, it is uh, porous. It has large size proteins known as porins, due to which it is more permeable. Cristae of mitochondria. Now, in the cristae of mitochondria, there is presence of cytochrome. Now, cytochrome oxidase is present here, which is the part of electron transport system. So, the right option is option number 4. So, now question number 53. Rachel Carson's famous book, Silent Spring, is related to. Now, this book gives information about DDT, about the accumulation of DDT in aquatic food chain. So, you know that DDT, it is a pesticide. So, this book is related to pesticide pollution. So, the right option is option number so now moving on to question number 54 here. 